and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a DIY gift for kids. I am going to be showing you how to make your own personalized match game. My kids love the game of match, and so I thought it would be fun to do something that is personalized just for them. So I am using some Christmas photos that we recently took. You can also print out pictures of some of your kids' favorite things. You can print out words, maybe, if you wanted to use it as an educational game for your kids. And you can use many other items as well, just as long as you have two sets of each picture so that they can match. So I am excited about today's video and to share it with you. I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, please hit that like button, please comment, and please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching today. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using these wood rectangles. I picked these up at Michael's. They were $1.99 each, and I used a 40% off coupon on each of them. So with tax, they were $1.27 each, and these come with six pieces. And then they also had something similar at Hobby Lobby. They were a little bit bigger, probably about a half inch bigger on each side, and those were in an eight pack for $2.99, so if they have a sale like they do sometimes for 50% off at Hobby Lobby, then you might find these for a little bit cheaper if you want a different size or you want more options. You can also sometimes find circles that are similar sizes. So, But I chose these three inch by two inch rectangles from Michaels. I'll be using this Rust-Oleum two times spray paint in the color Poppy Red, and I'll be doing two coats on all of the rectangles. And this is one of my favorite spray paints that covers very well. And I'm sorry I am spray painting in my laundry room so it does not have the best lighting and it doesn't quite show the color of the red exactly how it is. did two coats of red spray paint on one side of these 12 rectangle pieces so the other side is left blank and now we'll move on to what the next step is going to be. So to make your match game you are going to need to print out two pictures of six different pictures if you are doing six matches like I did and I printed these in the wallet size so they printed out as you can see, the perfect width, they're just a little bit too long. So when cutting them out, I'll just have to cut off a little bit extra so they will fit on the other side of my pieces. These pictures were taken with my phone, so that's probably why they are slightly longer than normal pictures. I used my wood piece to measure how long the picture needed to be, and then I just used something with a straight edge in order to mark where I needed to cut. Here are my six matches, all cut out and ready to be glued. I am using this matte Mod Podge for this project. I did pick up the Mod Podge from Dollar Tree. You want to spread on a good layer of Mod Podge on the back of your picture and then also on your wood piece to prevent any bubbles from being between the two. Center your picture in place and push out any bubbles and then you'll add another layer of Mod Podge on top of your picture. I like to spread on a good layer of glue and then go back over to make it a little bit neater with some longer strokes. The Mod Podge does dry clear over top of your pictures and then also if you use the matte Mod Podge then it doesn't have too much of a shine to it once it's dried. Repeat this same process with all 12 of your pieces and then this is how they look once they are dry. You can add in more matches depending on the ages of your kids and what kind of difficulty level they are able to do. I think most kids would enjoy getting a gift like this for Christmas, something personalized just for them, and I know my kids will love playing it.
Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I have enjoyed making it for you. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and you all have a great day. Bye!